you know what I ought to do is try and figure out how to introduce a tune like this next one without being totally self-serving. John's quite good at that. <laughs> Notice the without being self-serving. I don't know how many of you know this, but almost everything John's band plays has had his hand on it. Kind of like Count Basie, who was the micro arranger. Oh no, letter E doesn't belong there. It belongs where letter B is. Now we're going to move B over where C is, and let's do that. Okay, now we're going to revoice the whole thing. Well, the fact is, I wrote the tune to this next one uh, when I was a graduate student at Indiana University. And uh, I always thought it ought to have more than five parts. I wrote it as a quintet, and we played it that way a number of times. But I never wrote a sax soli, and I never wrote a shout chorus. So I hired Mike Craigler to do both of those, and now we actually have a chart. So I wrote the melody, I wrote the counterpoint, I wrote the backgrounds, Craigler wrote those other things. And the band has been very, very patient with it all year. Uh, we played it at just about everything you can imagine. So this was originally named after a woman that I was in a relationship with at the time, uh, but that was sadly short-lived. Uh, <laughs> never named the tune after a woman. Uh, <laughs> dooms the relationship. It's a jinx. So in any case, uh, it's gone through other transformations. Now we call it Blues for Dominic. Not actually after Dominic, our patron saint of Providence College, uh, the Dominicans and all that, it's actually named after Dominic Sparrow, who taught me how to arrange music. So, the thing I ought to do is be more brief, so I'll just stop. <laughs> <laughs>